In this video, we will see the concept of pipe planning that is implemented in PIC 16F877 microcontroller. So in case of pipe planning, the instruction fetching and executing is done in a staggered manner. In case of PIC 16F877 microcontroller, there are two stages of pipeline. So first stage is called as fetch stage and second stage is called as execute stage. So in first stage, that is fetch stage, the instructions are fetched from the program memory and in the execute stage the fetched instructions are executed so here in this diagram this first block is for clock cycle one this is for second clock cycle this is third clock cycle and this is fourth clock cycle and i1 stands for first instruction of the program i2 is the second instruction of the program and i3 is the third instruction of the program then in this case in clock cycle first the first instruction is fetched in the second clock cycle the first instruction which was fetched that is now sent to execute stage and at the same time the second instruction from the program is fetched in the third clock cycle the second instruction which was fetched that is now sent to the execute stage and third instruction is fetched and in the fourth clock cycle the third instruction is executed so in this case now uh, the number of clock cycles that are required for executing first instruction are two that is equal to the number of stages in the pipeline but after that the second instruction requ uh, requires only one clock cycle third instruction requires only one clock cycle because these instructions are already fetched in the previous clock cycle so once the pipeline is full on every clock cycle one instruction is executed so uh, we, because of this the throughput of the entire system increases now throughput is nothing but the number of instructions that can be executed in given amount of time so if throughput is more it means that more number of instructions can be executed in given amount of time whereas if throughput is less it means that less number of instructions will be executed in the same given amount of time so this will be more uh, illustrated using the example of a laundry man so in this case the example is illustrated without the concept of pipelining now here the laundry man is having four different customers now customer a b c and d so customer a clothes are first of all washed then dried and then ironed after that the customer b clothes are washed dried and ironed and so on so in this case the concept of pipelining is not implemented so because of that the time required for executing all these four uh, tasks or the washing the clothes of all the four customers takes long time whereas uh, in this case there is a possibility of reducing this time by implementing the concept of pipelining now that concept can be implemented in this example as well so here when the customer a clothes are washed after that those are sent to the dryer at that time this washing machine is empty so in this case the clothes of customer b can be washed and once the clothes of customer a are dried the laundry man can take those clothes and start the ironing and at that time the clothes of mm -hmm customer b which are already washed those can be dried and at the same time the clothes of customer c can be used uh, in the washing machine so in this case this is actually uh, the concept of pipelining here the three stages are there in case of peak controller we have only two stages but in this example we are having three stages this is first stage this is second stage and this is third stage so uh, if if we implement the concept of pipelining the time required for executing the tasks is reduced so same concept is implemented here with the help of pipelining so here now the uh, clothes of customer a are washed then those are given to dryer at that time this washing machine is empty so at that time the clothes of customer b are given to washing machine once the uh, clothes of customer a are dried those are ironed by this laundry man and at the same time the clothes of customer b which are washed those are now given to the dryer and at the same time the clothes of customer c are given to washing machine 
so in this way we can implement the concept of pipelining and we can see that the time required for executing all the four tasks is reduced as compared to the previous case so in this way we can implement the concept of pipelining which helps to improve the throughput of the system but there are some problems in pipelining uh, in this case the first problem is data dependency so th this is the problem whenever an instruction depends on the result of the previous instruction so whenever the current instruction is being executed and if it requires the output of previous instruction in that case the if the instruction previous instruction is not uh, totally executed at that time the output which is available uh, from the previous instruction will be the previous output and not the current output so this may give us a uh, erroneous result so that is the first problem so this problem can be solved by code reordering so this job is usually left to compiler so in this case what is done is the instructions which are having data dependency those instructions are placed apart from each other and uh, the output of first instruction is available to the next instruction before it it is being fetched so this is the solution then the next problem is branching so whenever uh, the program is being executed it is executed sequentially but if there is a branch instruction at that time the program counter may jump from main program to some other location so in that case again the pipeline needs to be flushed the solution for this is branch prediction which is not again 100% effective so if there is a branching instruction the program counter will start fetching the instructions from a new address location and the already fetched instructions in the pipeline should be discarded so some of the processes uh, execute both sides of branch and depending on the condition they continue with one in case of pic 16f877 microcontroller the pipeline is simply flushed so this is about the concept of pipelining in pic 16f877 in the next video we'll see the instruction set present in pic 16f877 for more information you can log on to the website given in the description of this video thank you mm -hmm.